Today I'm going to talk about chemicals that are prominent in a lot of our personal care and sexual wellness products. I'm going to go into detail about each chemical and why we don't like them in our products. So we found that a lot of chemicals that have been outlawed in children's toys and even in pet toys are, no, are still prominent in adult toys. And I've also found that a lot of chemicals that oncologists recommend that we don't use after we've had cancer and are still prominent and prevalent in a lot of products. So we put together a product line that has none of the following chemicals. Because when you put something topically on your skin, it absorbs into your bloodstream in about a minute and a half. When you put something in your mucous membrane, like your ass, your vagina, your mouth, or your nose, it's gonna absorb into your bloodstream in about six seconds. So some of the chemicals that you wanna avoid because they can cause reproductive issues, endocrine disruptions, estrogen dependent conditions, liver, kidney, brain damage, hormone issues, and also skin irritation are some of the chemicals that follow. The first chemical that I'm gonna talk about is phthalates. Phthalates are a chemical that are often found in products to make plastic pliable. Phthalates are banned in, in kids' toys and in pet toys, both in the US and in Europe. And what phthalates um, can really mess with hormones and cause reproductive issues and endocrine disruptions. And so that's something that you really wanna look at. But because of poor manufacturing processes and lack of regulation, a lot of products will be labeled phthalate free, but actually have a lot of phthalate content. The chemical is parabens. Parabens mimic estrogen and so they cause estrogen dependent conditions and can then lead to cancer. Parabens are now found in 99% of breast cancer tumors and almost all the oncologists that we've talked to suggest that you don't use parabens after you've had cancer. So I really don't understand why we're allowing them to be in our products before we have cancer. The next chemical is glycerin. Glycerin may not sound bad. It's in a lot of lotions, it's emollient, but when you put glycerin on the skin, it just kind of stays on the skin. It doesn't ever absorb into the skin. And when you're needing moisture, especially vaginally, you do want it to absorb into your skin. Glycerin is also a derivative of sugar usually. And so when you're rubbing it, it is gonna get kind of very sticky. And most, that's what most people do not like about personal lubricants is that they get sticky. But my concern with glycerin is that in warm, moist environments, glycerin can cause bacterial growth and yeast growth, so thus creating um, yeast infections and UTIs. The most scary chemical that I believe that we see in products is propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a derivative of alcohol, which is very drying. It's also a prominent ingredient in antifreeze. It's what they use to de-ice plane wings and take barnacles off boats. The EPA regulates that the airline technicians wear head to toe body suits because the propylene glycol can cause liver, kidney, and brain damage. In lubricants, in personal care products, you'll often see it because it's a chemical that is very well used in a lot of things from cake mix to toothpaste. What it does is it is very drying, so it's going to create a kind of a burning sensation. For example, it's what makes KY warming hot. It's the high concentration of propylene glycol. There are no essential oils, nothing else in it to make any warmth. So in all of the warming products that are on the market commercially, most of them contain the high concentration of propylene glycol. So KY Warming, KY His and Hers, Passion, Yours and Mine, a lot of the Kama Sutra products, those products are actually drying out the tissue to the point that it's causing heat because of the irritation. It's also what makes Fireball Whiskey hot. So Fireball also does not have any cinnamon extract. It is a 
the high concentration of propylene glycol. That's why it's been taken off the market in many European countries. There's too much propylene glycol and thus it's dangerous because it's actually burning your esophagus as it goes down because it's drying out your tissue. Another chemical that you might see is talc. And we don't allow talc in any of our products and talc has been very prominent in the media recently because Johnson & Johnson has had to pay out billions of dollars in lawsuits because they knew that talc could cause cancer. So it's what's caused a lot of ovarian and uterine cancers because women typically put it around for to control moisture in their vaginal areas and under arms where our lymph nodes are. We also stay away from PEGs, which is polyethylene glycol. Polyethylene glycol is something that dehydrates the skin and can cause um, more aging and uh, skin irritations. Another chemical that has been in the news recently is triclosan and a lot, all the companies have been regulated that they do need to take triclosan out of their antibacterial products in the near future and what triclosan has done is because it is so antibacterial it's created superbugs that are antibiotic resistant it so we're seeing a lot more instances of MRSA and flesh eating bacteria it also then gets into our water systems and so it's very detrimental to ecosystems and aqua systems. In the past, sexual wellness products have also a lot of times contained Nanoxinol 9, which is a spermicide. But what Nanoxinol 9 does is that it creates micro tears and so it's actually opening up the skin for more susceptibility to STDs and STIs and even HIV. So when you're looking at products, just make sure you read the label or you can shop at enticeme.com because we've taken all of the work out of it for you. We only carry body safe, non-toxic products.